Today we're going to talk about what happens when you scale a recipe. So with your recipe on screen first, I want you to make note of the ingredient amounts and the total weight. This is for eight servings and we're going to increase this to 10 servings and then to 50 servings just so you can see what happens. Okay. So look at one each, one cup, one each, 118 grams, 151 grams, and 149 grams of weight. So I'm clicking scale and I'm going to type in 10 here and click okay. Now the amount of ingredients has increased to one and one fourth each, one and one fourth cup, 147 grams, 188 grams, etc. To see this bigger, pay attention to the walnuts down here. There's nine and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna increase this to 50, 50 servings. So, and so now we see that it's three cups instead of something like 45 tablespoons. When you, when you scale the recipe, you're scaling the total amounts called for in the recipe. This isn't going to change the serving size. That's going to be the same, and so your nutrients per serving will also remain unchanged. This feature is a simple multiplication or division tool. So it's not going to adjust your cooking time or your temperature. And for more complicated or delicate foods, you should really use this feature for approximations only because it's not going to adjust for food chemistry either. So just keep that in mind while you're using this. And thank you for joining me.